Hey, how's it going, Fox Squad? My name is Akira Strix, or Trickster Fox, whichever you want to go with. Welcome back to more Hyper Final Fight. Now we need to get through the subway and fight Sodom, who is waiting for us at the end because, well, that's usually how these old school beat em ups tend to work. So let's get going. Need to beat more guys into the ground because, of course, they do, or we do, I should say. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear me or not, because uh, even though I am still, oh, excuse me, still playing as Cody, because uh, I honestly think he gets a little bit of a, a little bit of a black, especially in the original game, which I actually did play on Prime Heroes commentaries. It's a, it's a, another YouTube channel that I was a part of, but uh, I don't really use anymore because it was one that I made, uh, and I got a one up because that's always nice. There are plenty of one ups to go around, which makes this a little bit more forgiving than it is in the original game, if I'm being honest. Unless it's the GBA version. the The GBA version is actually not all that bad. Like it still has some of the same censorships as uh, the Super Nintendo version, but. It's still pretty good for what it is. And of course, I saw some knives, so that means I'll be facing off against Elgato again. Or a variant of him. Elgato kinda sucks. Just putting that out there, he kinda does. And I don't even know what I was doing for a second there. That's how much I was, how little I guess I should say I was uh, paying attention. Alrighty, that's you done. Is that everybody? For now. Now I just need to fight these guys and then get on the subway. Feels almost like the Warriors, doesn't it? But of course, uh, when this game originally came out, it wasn't really inspired at all by the Warriors. Just throwing that out there, just in case somebody thinks that might be a little screwed up in terms of information and whatnot. Not that it matters too much. Uh, so let's see here. Um, hmm. Actually, what's uh, what's it? Well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna wait till we get to the uh, till we get to the boss to talk more about him. Uh, Street Fighter VI. I have not had the chance to play it yet. Uh, I don't know if people like it or not. I already know that some people are already not okay with uh, the new character that was introduced in Street Fighter VI. Uh, Luke, I think his name is. Yeah, uh, a lot of people don't seem to like him already. I'm not sure why. Maybe I should look into it. And don't say that he just sucks. That's not good enough. You're going to need to come up with a better reason than that. I, like, I will probably find out on my own sometime later. Let's just get the stuff in here and keep going. Yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it, uh, it's probably for the better that I picked the uh, the alpha version of Mission One because, uh, which is basically just a whole run through of the very first final fight, as I already said in part one, and uh, three poisons, all of them dead. And you, Elgato, need to go away because I don't like you. Come on, Elgato. Don't be scared. That's what I thought. Am I... Okay, I need to get through these guys now. Anyways. Um, I don't know if Street Fighter Six is even worth picking up. Because if I could play it, then I would have. But, uh... Uh, I don't know. And like in terms of the original Street Fighter cast, uh, I was always a, I was a, I was a Ryu guy. I was a Ryu guy. Which makes it even, which makes me even happier that he was included in Smash Brothers. 
and in Smash Brothers Ultimate, Ken was uh, dropped into the fray as well. So that might be uh, it might be a hint for uh, future Smash Brothers installments. Speaking of Smash Brothers, now that I now that I uh, now that I want to uh, bring this up, uh, screw anybody and their opinion uh, when it comes to saying that a Smash Brothers movie is not a good idea. Because if people have bad taste, then you have no taste, which is infinitely worse. Yeah, I normally don't like to attack the opinion of others, except for when the other people are actually wrong. If people don't want it, well... Personally, I think it'll work. But that just goes to show that I have better taste than you, even if it's bad taste. The worst taste you can have is no taste. Like, at all. I'm sorry, that's just the way the world works. It's a rule and you can't force it. Or I guess you can force it, but you can't break it any, no matter how hard you try. But a Smash Brothers movie would definitely bring in a lot of money to Nintendo. And of course, we all want them to keep making great games, right? Like, okay, I'm not entirely blind to a lot of the stuff that Nintendo does behind the scenes that clearly, uh, doesn't paint them in the best light, but, uh... I think it's Smash Brothers movie will work. You just gotta learn to give it a fair chance, guys. Something that I think, uh... People who uh, have seen and enjoy the Mario Brothers movie either love it or hate it. You can love it or hate it if you want. I'm not saying you have to like it. But uh, don't diss on the fact that it's clearly a good idea to do a Smash Brothers movie. In fact, I would I would argue it's only right that it happens. Just don't do it right away, Nintendo. Like I want one, but not right away. Like like have more than enough standalone movies based on your other franchises to help build up to that. Because if the MCU can do that right, for the most part, uh, then the same can be said for uh, the Smash Brothers movie. Anyway, Sodom, here is the boss. In the Game Boy Advance version uh, that I wanted to bring up really quick since we're fighting him now, uh, depending on who you play as, uh, because in the GBA version there are little inter splurtations, I don't know if that's the right word to use here, um, of dialogue between uh, the character you play as as well as the boss of that stage. In the case of Sodom here in uh, in uh, Final Fight 1 on the GBA, um, he has different dialogue depending on who you play as. Like, he has, uh, he has, like, especially interesting dialogue if you fight him as Guy. And he's also dead. But, uh, before we end things, uh, I just want to say, Smash Brothers movie, bef just so that I can get it hammered into the ground, so that, uh, other people shut up about it, um... I think it's only right to do a Smash Brothers movie, but that is just me. I personally want to see one, and it will be great, and nobody can tell me otherwise, because they are just wrong. Okay, maybe that's a little fanboyish, but we all are in some way, so... Eh. In any case, my whole shabacle aside with uh, what I was saying about the Smash Brothers movie, this is where I'm going to end Hyper Final Fight Part 2. Uh, I've been Akira Strix or Trickster Fox, whichever you want to go with. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to uh, to subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload from me. Every Wednesday, I'm going to be doing No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle with my friend Andrew. Every Friday will be a Hyper Final Fight video. And probably going to be doing live streams on Saturday. Like every Saturday. With all that said, uh, make sure to keep your gaming spirits alive, or remember to keep your gaming spirits alive, and always keep an eye out 
for gang members in the streets. Because, uh, make sure you have a buddy or two with you if you're going to take them down. All right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll stop, I'll stop. So in any case, I will see you guys next week for more Hyper Final Fight. Take care, Fox Squad.